Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on scoreboard stats. Now this is a brilliant free plugin that you can download from Curse and Bucket and it allows you to create your own custom scoreboard. Now not only does it allow you to use various different variables from loads of different plugins, you can also add these awesome symbols such as a heart or a plane or arrow. Uh, there's a whole list of them. So we are going to go through that and show you how to edit the plugin. Uh, so first of all, let's look at the commands. There's only a couple. There is forward slash sidebar, which toggles the scoreboard on and off. Uh, very straightforward. And then there is sidebar reload. If you've actually edited anything in the config file, uh, it will update any changes you made. So um, that's everything in game. We are going to go into the config file first. And in here, we can um, pretty much have a look and see what we can change. So up at the top, we can disable it in certain worlds, uh, which is a useful feature. We have the main scoreboard that we can edit here. And at the bottom, you can enable PvP stats tracking. Um, and you can have a temporary scoreboard for kills, for example. So we are going to go ahead and edit the main scoreboard. So I was just messing around with this. Um, so we're, we're just going to leave it as stats. As, um, it looks pretty nice when it's called that. Update delay, I wouldn't recommend changing that. Uh, but the items is the thing you want to edit. So this is everything that will be in your scoreboard. So it will show how many people are online. This is the variable it uses. How much money you have. And um, here is the symbol. So I've literally just copied and pasted it from the list. Uh, so if we go into the special characters list, you can see there is a lot here. There are numbers, there's arrows, there's... what's that? flower or star or something, a uh, pencil, uh, a phone, and uh, there's some other ones. So it's really cool you can do this. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to add some more variables. As you can see, there are so many for factions, skyblock, heroes, simple clans, MCMMO. Um, but we are going to stick to the general ones as um, I don't have any of the other plugins online at the moment. So uh, let's go back into the config file. Let's add a new line. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this line a couple of times just to make it easier once more there we go so let's add some custom uh, information on the scoreboard so let's grab the ping of the server now you want to paste it on the um, right side that is where the number will be displayed and the left side is any text you want so make sure you have these apostrophe things and that will uh, hopefully work. So we are going to add a color and just write ping. Very straightforward. We are also going to have, uh, what else should we have? We should have maybe armor. I don't think I'm wearing armor, but uh, we're going to put it there anyway. And add some text. And finally, uh, which one are we going to do? <laughs> maybe max RAM. Let's have a look at that as well. So apostrophe. Max RAM, apostrophe, and we're going to just write RAM here. So RAM, there we go, apostrophe. And um, let's go ahead and add some special characters. So all we need to do is literally just find one. Here's an, an, uh, a letter. Uh, we're going to copy and paste it and paste it inside um, the text on the left. And you can even give it a special color. So um, Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, what else is there? We can add the phone. That's an interesting one. And there we go. So that's how you edit a scoreboard. This is going to look really funky, but uh, it should look pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, and see, there we go. So uh, let's have a look at how this looks. So sidebar reload, and here we go. So wow, that uh, that looks really cool. As you can see, um, there is the phone up here. And there is the letter down here, and it shows how many are online. One, zero ping because I'm hosting it myself. Zero armor because obviously uh, there is no armor at the moment. And uh, what else? Where is that? So there we go. So I made a mistake there. I accidentally wrote two characters instead of one. I have 1,820 RAM apparently, which is, uh, which is pretty good, I suppose. And you can obviously change how many things you want. So that is the plugin. It's really good, uh, easy to configure, and um, very useful. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.